Next tonight, one year after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Republicans are calling for unity behind a federal ban on abortion, but they don't all agree on where to draw the line. President Biden, meantime, is doing what he can to shore up access to reproductive care. Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. On the eve of the anniversary of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, the future of abortion rights in this country front and center. Former Vice President Mike Pence calling on his 2024 rivals to back a nationwide minimum 15 week abortion ban. Every Republican candidate for president should support a ban on abortion before 15 weeks as a minimum nationwide standard. Aren't you glad to live in the free Florida state Governor Florida? Ron DeSantis has gone even further in his state, today defending the bill he signed that bans abortion at six weeks before many women know they are pregnant. It was the right thing to do. Don't let anyone tell you it wasn't. It's the most he's said on the subject since he launched his campaign for president, after the front runner, former President Donald Trump, criticized DeSantis for going too far saying in an interview that many people within the pro-life movement feel that that was too harsh. But when Trump was pressed to clarify his own stance, he didn't answer. Some people are at six weeks. Some people are at three Where did, weeks, two President weeks. Where's President Trump? Uh, President Trump is going to make a determination what he thinks is great for the country and what's fair for the country. Since the fall of Roe, 15 states have severely restricted access to abortion. President Biden today signing an executive order to protect access to birth control but he has acknowledged there's only so much he could do alone. I never, ever thought I'd be signing an executive order protecting the right to contraception. But the only sure way to protect a woman's health and rights is for Congress to pass a law. According to a 538 analysis of recent polling data, most Americans believe that abortion should be legal in some cases, both sides hoping to use this as a driving issue in the 2024 election. Wit. Rachel Scott, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.